Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Andy Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we will be reviewing some random figures. One is being a brand new figure from Ghostbusters. And this is the 1984 Ghostbusters, Winston, and a couple of other things I got from Still City Con. And these are my G.I. Joe figures. And of course, a simple show off. We're just going to show off just because this is Zarya from Overwatch. And this is a Funko Pop of Zarya from Overwatch. Looks pretty nice, if I do say so myself, for a Funko Pop. She doesn't do nothing. Her head is on a rotation joint. All there is to say for that Funko Pop. We're, we are going to look at the packaging of our Ghostbusters 1984 Winston packaging. I wanted to do these since I've had them, and these are from G.I. Joe. And these are the Galactic Heroes, or whatever they called them back in the day. But if I had to guess, they're Galactic Heroes, G.I. Joe. And we got Beachhead, and... And a Cobra Trooper. Sorry if I pause there for a second. And they look pretty good for little minifigures of G.I. Joe characters. I dig them. That's all there is to say for these G.I. Joe little figures. Now we're going to get on to this one review I've been waiting to do since I got this figure for Christmas. Yes, I got this figure for Christmas. And this is the Ghostbusters. Winston Zaymore, 1984 edition Ghostbusters Classics. And here we got a nice product shot of the Ghostbusters insignia. Four plus. If you're if you're a kid under four years old, you probably shouldn't be watching this review. If you're a kid under like uh, five or six, this review is just for you. Five or six or seven or eight. But here we got a nice product shot of the Fright Feature Slimer included with this figure. And yeah, it's a Ghost Fright Feature figure. And Ghostbusters, and we got Winston Zamor, or however you pronounce this. And you got his bio, if you want to read it. And this is from Amazon Warehouse Import. And that's all there is to say for this packaging. Let's look at the figures themselves. First, we're going to look at the Fright Feature Slimer. Because I've never had a Slimer in my Ghostbusters collection. And you get some movement out of the arms for a Fright Feature. He can go, hee hee. Yay, it'd be like, I'll help you, Winston. You can use a voice for him. I don't know how to properly use Slimer's voice since I'm not good at doing his voice, but that's how I'll do his voice. I'm Slimer. I'll get get them for you, my buddy Winston. Don't worry about a thing. Now get those bad ghosties out of here. And I couldn't help but use an impression. And yeah, for this fright feature, you press the button on the back. And his head splits open, reveal, revealing his tongue. Which is a nasty looking fright feature, if I do say so myself. As you can see, it you can sort of see that there's a lot of painted details on the inside of these fright features. Which is nice. But after I'm showing that off, I probably won't display it with the Fright Feature on. Because I love Ghostbuster Slimer. I remember watching 
the Ghostbuster, the real Ghostbusters cartoon. That's why I got this Slimer. But now we're going to get down to comparison with another Ghostbusters Fright feature. Here is the, like, Doughboy, I think it's from Ghostbusters Afterlife, that came with Egon. And we're going to look at both Fright features at the same time. And see, they're both pretty nasty, aren't they? Yep, they got nasty little Fright features for ghosts. It's kind of neat how they did those Fright features. But now we're going to put Slimer's face back together. Come on, Slimer. I'm going to secure your face back together. That's all there is to say for that. Now we're going to look at good old Winston. And this is a nice looking Winston. Nice paint sculpt. Nice sculpt on the proton pack, which is really good. You don't have any elbows on these Ghostbusters Classics 1984 figures. That's the letdown, but you can get the arms up about this high. Legs can go up that far. They can't go back because they're limited with articulation. Head is on a on a rotation joint, which is nice. You can get looking this way and that way. Nice. And that's all there is to say for this Winston figure. Now, for comparison, here he is next to good old Ghostbusters. Egon, and this team is coming along nicely. I'll be so glad to have a set of Ghostbusters in my collection. Once I collect the last figure I don't have, and the one I don't have right now on the review bucket list is Ray with these Ghostbusters Classics 1984 editions. Are these worth adding to your collection if you're a Ghostbusters fan like me? Yes. I love I love Ghostbusters. I grew up with the original Ghostbusters movies. Number one and number two. And these are good representations of the good old Ghostbusters fashion. I wasn't around when... Real Ghostbusters was on TV. I got that on DVD from Amazon and totally checked it, checked it out. But yeah, Slimer is the mascot of the real Ghostbusters. And I am so happy to have a Slimer in my collection. Are these worth adding to your collection if you love Ghostbusters a lot? Yes, pick them up. They are worth 10 bucks to pick up. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.